Wowee! Hosting a new segment sure is hard work. Toxoplasma Gandhi. Ugh, it took forever to talk about. I sure hope my phone doesn't ring. Ring, 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 Aw, oh, dang, I guess my phone rang. Hello, this is Dale Daly. Uh-huh. I'm aware that you're my agent. Yes. What do you mean the wrong disease? We already recorded everything. Oh my. Alright, I'll call Chip Chipson. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, Chip Chipson. Uh-huh, yeah, you did such a great job on the Toxoplasma Gandhi IPSA. I want you to do another one. Right now. You don't get over here in 10 seconds or less, you're fired. Boop. What? Chip Chipson? Hey Dale, what disease are you thinking about? Oh, uh, I was thinking of Loa Loa Filariasis. Oh, you mean the uh, one that comes from the Loa Loa worm, also known as the African eye worm, that uh, uh, you get from usual repeated deer fly bites? Wow, you shaved. Uh, yeah, that one. How did you know all that on hand? I study everything beforehand. Uh, alright. So, you better tell me what I need to know. You're the smart guy. Wow, I like your mustache. Do you trim it? Yeah. Okay, so let me get this straight. The symptoms of this disease can include itchy swellings on the arms and legs, visible movement of the adult lower lower worm across the surface of the eye, itching all over the body, and tiredness. That is exactly right. Wait, how do we get to the living room? Probably a quick seat and change due to lack of buzzet, budget. Let's get this PSA started. Okay, wait, before we begin, let me get this straight. The life cycle begins with a deer fly biting an infected human, then goes to the larvae of the worm, infecting cells within the abdomen of the fly, and then, 7 to 12 days later, the larvae develop to infect humans. Yeah, that's exactly right. Let's get this PSA started. Now, hold on a minute. Let me get this straight. One of the two treatments for the disease, which also happens to be the most used treatment, is diethyl carbamazine, which kills off both the adult worms and any other larvae found within the body, and treatment might not even be necessary or recommended, depending on the host, as there are no harmful symptoms and the disease only lasts one to three weeks. Yeah, that's what I've been saying this whole time. Let's go film this PSA already. So, what you're telling me is people traveling to Africa are more susceptible to the disease and should use bug spray and wear clothing that covers their entire bodies for most of the day in order to avoid random bites constantly from the flies that may give them the disease? That's what I've been trying to say. Are we going to get this PSA done or not? You know, I don't think we really need to do a PSA. Uh, you know, I'll just take the heat on this one. Uh, see you around, Chip Chipson. Wait, but...